All right, we're going to look at how many species there are on Earth and using species accumulation curves to estimate the total number of species in an area or on the entire planet. So the problem is that some species are inconspicuous and we do not have infinite resources to sample biodiversity. If you want to know how many birds there are in a forest patch, for example, and you went out and you saw seven bird species on one day, would you be able to say that there's definitively just seven species? Well, there's probably some that you missed on that day. Same with the total number of species on Earth. Even though we've been studying this for a while, there's clearly more species to be found, but how many? So one way you can look at this is using a species accumulation curve. Say you go out to the forest um, and you're looking for birds and you see two species on day one. This is the number of sampling days on the x-axis. So on day one, you see two species. On day two, you see an additional two species. So the cumulative number of species is now at four. On day three, you see another additional two species, so you're at six. Well, if you just stopped at day three, then you have a straight line that is showing that relationship between effort and the number of species, and that straight line could theoretically increase forever. So you could not estimate the richness, species richness or number of species, and you have more collecting to do or more sampling to do. However, if you went out on day four and you had just gotten one more species, so you're at seven, and then on day five you get no more new species, then you start to see a different relationship here, which is one of a curve. And if you have a curve, then you can estimate the number of species using the asymptote or the straight line that the curve is approximating, and that is your predicted number of species or predicted species richness. In an article by Mora et al., 2011, they tried to address the question of how many species are there on Earth and in the ocean. And they noted that the number of taxa at the phyla level, the level of phylum, has started to um, level off and that it shows that curve and an asymptote from 1750 to the present time. And the same at the level of order. However, when they looked at the number of species that have been described to science, they saw that it's actually showing a linear increase over the last century or so. And so it's not possible or easily possible to estimate total species richness or total species on the planet just using that alone. So they got around this problem by looking at the relationship between the taxonomic level, so at the largest level of phylum, all the way down to the lowest level of species, and the accuracy of the estimates of the number of species. So at the phylum level, we're pretty confident we know how many phyla there are in, on the Earth, and the same at the class, order, and family level. And fortunately, these make a straight line, or are represented by a line, that you can use then to predict the number of species, and that's just what they did. So the answer that they came to was that there are 8.7 million eukaryotic species on Earth, and because 1.2 million species have been identified and cataloged thus far, that means that 86% of species on Earth remain to be identified. So there's still quite a bit of work to be done. I hope this has been useful, and take care.